Shalom everyone. It's been a crazy day for many of us. I'd actually go outside, beautiful North Carolina here, to uh, the shul's crazy, my house is crazy, <laughs> we're for the Chag and the Seders uh, and Shabbat. So I want to give a quick tour, a little little something, a little taste of Torah for before the, the Seders. So listen, the the Seder, the, the book we use to help guide us in the Seder is called the Haggadah. Haggadah, Lagid, means to tell, and some people translate it as the telling. And I just want to make sure that everyone gets focused, you know, through all the food and the fun and the family and the four cups of wine or juice or matzah, I mean, all that stuff. The four children, there's, there's so much in this. Okay, four questions. The cleaning out the house of leaven, chametz. But bottom, bottom line, it's about the telling. This is the moment. If you want to say, what is like the key ingredient to Jewish uh, continuity, how we've continued telling a story for, for generations? is that we tell our story from one generation to the next. And we tell our story from one person to the next. And we share that with each other and we value that. And we listen and we take time to pass it on. And to hear the parts of our journey that were challenging, that were uplifting. We feel that a power beyond us lifted us higher. So it's both the story of our ancient story of us being in Egypt and being free, but it's also our personal story. And it's about the relevance of today. I mean, imagining those who are fleeing Ukraine who have a modern day Pharaoh, what is their story? What can they add to the story? So when you get into that Magi, the section that's really called the telling of the telling, the speak, the, the story part, a lot of commentary, some people get lost in there. It's okay, you can you know take a moment to close the Haggadah and talk about what's your vision of the story? What's the meaning to you? What's it mean today? And also what's your personal story? What do you wanna pass on? What do you hope, God willing, generations later from now, people will say about your story? about your family's story, about your people's story, whatever your background may be. That is the secret kind of technology, the Jewish continuity, is that we have an ancient story, a universal story, but we tell that story, we pass on that story. We're unabashed to tell that story. In the end, by telling that story, it's, it brings us a little closer, closer to freedom because free people can tell their story. Wishing all blessing of, for those who are celebrating, a beautiful Pesach, beautiful Seders, however you are, safely please God. Those who are honoring having a meaningful Easter, a happy Easter in all of its joy. A Ramadan Karim for those who are honoring and celebrating Ramadan. May that be special and gracious. May God look down on all of us, all of God's children, wherever and whatever practice you have. And seize the time for sharing our stories. And with God's help, bring us the whole world a little closer towards peace and redemption. Chag Sameach, Shabbat Shalom.